and welcome to today's video. My name is Sabrina and I'm going to tell you the differences between rhodium, platinum, and white gold plating. We've had a lot of customers ask us about these options for their jewelry, so we decided to make a video to help you better understand them. As you may know, House of Jewelry has many different rhodium plated jewelry available for purchase. However, not many people know what it is. Rhodium is a rare precious metal too brittle to be made into a piece of jewelry. Instead, many people use it to plate more malleable metals like silver or white gold. This is to hide any imperfections and to make the jewelry shine brighter along with tarnish resistance. Rhodium is a durable metal. It doesn't tarnish and it doesn't need to be cleaned the same way regular silver does. Rhodium can wear off over time, but the rate is much slower compared to other metals, especially if it's e-coated and properly taken care of. Many people say that rhodium adds an extra layer of shine to a piece of jewelry and can enhance the appearance of the piece. White gold is another option when it comes to plating silver. As everyone knows, silver is malleable and in order to make it more durable, it needs additional alloys. This is true when it comes to white gold as well. In order to achieve the white color, it needs to have alloys added to give it the silver tint. Keep in mind, this also affects the purity of the gold, and despite the alloys, there still is a bit of yellow hue to it. To remove the yellow hue, the gold is then plated with either rhodium or platinum. Sometimes the plating can wear off and will need to be replaced by a jeweler. Platinum, much like rhodium, is a precious metal and tends to be more pure than gold. It is more durable than most metals and doesn't need as many touch-ups as gold. For example, when gold gets a scratch, parts of the gold fall off or is otherwise lost. With platinum, the scratch pushes the metal and shifts it around on the ring. This is called a patina finish. Keep in mind though that it does scratch a lot easier, but it is easier to mend since jewelers can repair the jewelry and reshape it as opposed to adding new materials to fix the problem. It is also a lot denser than white gold, so it will feel heavier. Unlike other metals, platinum won't have to be replaced as often, if at all, because of how durable it is. Since platinum is purer than gold, it's more hypoallergenic. So which one is right for your customers? It really depends on what they're looking for. If durability is key, then rhodium or platinum would be best. If they're looking for something aesthetic, then white gold would be a good choice. At the time of making this video, House of Jewelry only uses rhodium plating as we feel it has the greatest longevity when it comes to plating, even though it is the most cost prohibitive out of the three. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, bye!